Alrighty, so in week two, we start talking about what I believe is probably the most important part of what we'll do together. And that is what we're going to develop. Because um, the idea, and, and again, this is probably duplicate because I've recorded it before I've, before I've met you for the first time. But by this time, hopefully you've heard me talk about the importance of what we do uh, in our development projects. And I call them develop here and, and you'll see some file names I'll talk about in a minute. So, but this is really the concept and this is what I want you to get is taking what you're learning inside the Udemy course. Okay, so you're learning in this Udemy course how to use some fundamental Node.js concepts, how to get information from a user and how to present that information back to the user. Okay, so in this case, there's really not much what I would call processing going on. Um, so what I'm going to have you do is take the concepts that you've learned and then take it to a bit of a next level. Okay, so that's why I'm already talking about here in day two is I want you to consider, right? I want you to think about a develop, you know, like what you would want to create. And of course it needs to be something different than what he did, which was the notes app, right? And um, so this is where students sometimes get a little frustrated because they're like, well, what do I create? Well, you know, create something that you might want to use. And uh, the other thing I've seen students do is sometimes they take on a project that's too much, right? Because what I would expect here is for you to both challenge yourself, but not to tr take on too much. Uh, because this is really where the rubber, and this is a horrible saying, but the rubber hits the road. This is really where we figure out if what we've given you in, these, in this code up is really translating into some skill. So we're, there's two things here. One, we're figuring that out. How, how well have we translated these things? And then how, and this, so there's actually two things. One thing is that. The other thing is how can, let's, let's help you develop this muscle of actually saying, I want to create this thing and then a, attempting to create it, right? Because this is what developers do. They develop things. So um, that's what we're going to do here. So let me walk you through the um, work. Let me show you what I did so that you get an idea. And by the way, this could change, but I would tell you the more you've committed to this, um, the the better this is going to be because the, well, I'll, I'll say that maybe at the end. So the first thing you're going to want to do, and for those of you that have not taken my CIT82, we're going to create in this case, in your public repo, and I'll show you just navigating there in a minute, a file, and it's called a markdown file. In addition, I've given you a markdown cheat sheet, which I'll provide here, that shows you how to do just some basic markdown, and you can see how I've used it. But the key is you actually have to name this file .md for markdown, okay? So let me show you mine, because I went ahead and created it. Now in VS Code, you can also use the little um, a review, uh, preview window here uh, to look at what it will rend what it will look like when it's rendered. So there's really just three things I want you to do here. Okay, first is I want you to name your develop project. Right. So for me, uh, I called it RioCoin. And I might change the name here because as you can see in my write-up, one of, one of the things I've, I've actually looked at is the idea of blockchain. You know, it's a topic of much discussion and innovation, right? And understanding more about it will always help me. So my Node.js program will implement a small part of blockchain called the Open Ledger, all right? So now this, this description and what I'm attempting to do here is definitely what I would consider an ad intermediate to advanced, right? And it's not that you have to do something this advanced, it's that I want you to stretch yourself, right? So this is what I'm doing to stretch a little bit here, uh, to do something I'm interested in and, you know, attempting to take what concept and implement it. So that's the first thing is just, you know, name it and then write an overview of it. And I said what uh, what problem your code will handle, right? Uh, the problem in this case is also the opportunity, so I could put that as well. And then I want you to consider which inputs you'll need from the user, 
right? So in this case, I've done, I need to allow the user to create an opening balance. So it's like buying into Bitcoin, buying into a particular cryptocurrency, allowing the user to issue debits and credits. Um, and, and actually they're called something different. I'll refine this. And that's the other thing is as, as we move into week two, uh, week three, I want you to refine this because this is where every week I would expect you to be working on this. Okay, now I'm gonna give you the, the week before it's due, but every week really, as you're learning these concepts, you wanna actually start creating your project. Um, so. So then in my um, debit and credit one, you can see here I've given it a bullet point and I've given it some specifications because I thought about this. In order to process this information, I will need to check, make sure the user has an opening balance and that there is enough in their account to complete the transaction because it's one user sending to another. So in that case, that user has to have um, not just an opening balance, but also enough of a balance in order to process that. Right. And then I would need to allow the user to review uh, their transactions. So this is, again, my first draft of it. Um, and then what you will do when you when you submit it is just give me a link to your M, uh, your markdown file. So in this case, I went ahead and published it out to my public. Oh, let me show you that. I meant to do that. So in this case, one of the things I like to do in VS Code is I actually like to open the CIT94 SP19. That way I could have access to both my repos. Now you can open them up individually is fine, but I like to do it this way. Uh, that way I can move back and forth. And then in here, you don't have to create a subdirectory under this repo, and it may look like this, and it is a directory, but it's also a repo in this case. And then you create your new file, uh, dev1 uh, .m underscore one dot md file, okay? And then you'll push that out to your GitHub and then give us a link to it. Because remember, we're now working in the public and you'll see us do this throughout the course where we work to where other people can see your code. Um, and that's a really important way to see what other people are doing because there's an important part of this class that I'm still figuring out, which is how we collaborate. Okay, but again, more on that as I see you tonight. But I just wanted to give you the heads up for what you need to do um, on this Learn Together. And in this case, I've also put that you need to do two replies for full points. And this is really where you look at somebody else's work and you um, write something about that, right? What your thoughts were, um, you know, maybe their concept will help spark some ideas for you. Uh, I, in this case, I do want each of you to attempt something unique. I don't want two of you to do the same things, which I don't think should happen. All right, so I wanted to give you this to give you an idea, um, and I hope this gives you clarification. But again, if you need more, this is a great thing about actually looking at the next item. And let me just show you what I mean by that. So in this case, we're actually coming into our week one, our day one, I'll see you tonight, and I'm already creating week two. One of the things I, I will continue to do is I will actually get ahead and actually already do the draft of the requirements for your first program. So one of the things, as an example, um, I will have week three done is I would, if I was you, look forward before I see you in day two, week two, to what's up, what's coming at you in week three. That way the best place to ask me questions is actually that night of class. Or you could email me through Canvas or you could go on to chat, right? I've given you many different ways. Let's see, I think, let's see, at this point I have six of you on here. So there's many different ways for you to interact with me or with me in the class. Okay, talk to you, I think that's it. I just want to kind of give you the heads up and the overview of how it, how that flows. But again, this will be somewhat of a duplicate because I'll be talking about this tonight. See you later.